Hello, Thomas. Hi, Daniel. So we meet again, and um, we uh, are here today to continue to talk a little bit about IoT and PKI and so on, and specifically talk about our customer implementation. Mm -hmm. um, it is uh, a global customer, uh, uh, one of the largest automakers uh, in the world. Mm -hmm. Um, that had a very present need to uh, protect their communication between cars and between cars and uh, cars and other things. Is that correct? Yeah, that's correct. This is not a future scenario, but uh, very soon um, cars are going to communicate with each other. It's not only cars of one specific manufacturer, but every car. Mm. This is a standardized communication uh, platform. And what is it uh, used for is um, uh, all these uh, different parties, car, uh, vehicles, but also roadside equipment is going to send signals to the others about the traffic situation. Mm. Each car sends a signal containing, it, uh, containing its location and a speed vector and roadside equipment lights. Traffic lights can send, okay, now it's red, now it's green uh, in different directions uh, or... Uh, uh, dangerous points like construction sites, lane mergers can se sense if this signal, okay, watch out, this is, uh, there is an, emer uh, an um, emer um, dangerous situation here. Yeah. So it's basically, mm -hmm. uh, you could say that it's uh, assisting drivers to, to say more, uh, to, to drive more secure and, and to, to lower the accent, but maybe in the future also uh, autonomous driving more or less yes correct so, so the, in it, the, the ultimate goal is uh, to, to, to protect uh, um, to, to make sure that no collisions happen on the street but this uh, signals will be only one part that is is taken as input to assisted driving or autonomous uh, driving system of course you will need all these radars and optical systems that uh, 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 interpret what is on what's going on the streets mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. initially not every car and vehicle uh, is going to send signals I also want to mention it's not only cars and vehicles, but also pedestrians. Mm -hmm. I also mm -hmm. already uh, some films about m mobile phones that you carry and send the same kind of signals. Okay, interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, that, that's a little bit well, like this customer and also the whole industry talk. Uh, we got some new uh, acronyms, good for us. We didn't mm -hmm. have any since before. <laughs> but like mm -hmm. Car2X, uh, mm -hmm. uh, V2X or uh, yeah, uh, C2X and uh, whatever. So, so yeah, could you talk a little bit about those? Uh, yeah, C2X, uh, uh, it's not only cars, but it's, it's more generally it's about vehicles and vehicles. Uh, it's also about pedestrians and roadside equipment, which is infrastructure. But I think the most um, uh, generic uh, acronym is V2X, vehicle mm. to everything. Yeah, exactly. Mm. So mm. we're talking about this, the, the, the need and, and this implementation that we've done. So, so why was PKI chosen as the technology? Yeah, PKI is prescribed actually by the standards. So it's not just an alternative, but it is prescribed. It has to be used because this is a large risk system. It has a very complex um, communication structure. And PKI is the most suitable technology to, um, and also in, it's an interoperable aspect that you have to use it. There were two main security aspects. Uh, the one is uh, authentication of the messages. Mm -hmm. so, so if you think if uh, you're driving a car and it receives signals from different parties, it has to be proven that the signal is authentic and, and it's authorized. For example, um, a police car signal comes indeed from a police car, not just by um, a hacker. Mm -hmm. So that is, is one aspect. You have to make sure that the signals are authorized. Mm. Uh, or authentic and the, and the party is authorized to send that kind of signal. Mm -hmm. And the other aspect is privacy. You yeah. don't want that your card is uh, traced uh, when you uh, travel around and uh, this data is used by someone. So this, all the signals have to be uh, anonymous in a way. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I, I, that's interesting point. And, uh, and if you add to that, uh, th that kind of complex situation with, a, with not just the vehicles, with everything else and so on. And if I understood it right, there is um, a lot of certificates. It goes like 60 certificates into to one vehicle uh, per week. Correct. And if mm. you look at the, the, the hundreds of millions of, of uh, vehicles uh, out on the street, and they are replacing these 60 certificates, all of them uh, every week. I understood. So yeah. this, uh, I'm not that good in math, but it, it's it's rapidly becoming billions. Uh, yeah, it's an easy calculation, and it's indeed uh, uh, so that the cars must replace their set of authorization certificates that they 
communicate with mm. for privacy reasons. So it's, it comes up to, even for one manufacturer, uh, we counted some 20 billion certificates a year, which if you come down to uh, uh, um, uh, um, on the second scale, then it's many, many thousand uh, certificates per second. Mm. And uh, we have uh, verified on this, uh, on this occasion our systems, and we can produce uh, up to 10,000 certificates in a very simple um, certificate authority installation. Mm. So we are yeah. very confident that we can fulfill uh, the performance requirements. Mm. But looking at, at mm. PGI is standardized and so on. But when we when we talk about these specific requirements, it it sounds directly you know it's easy to to hear you know custom or special and so on. So wh mm. what about uh, lo looking forward and this type of solutions? Of course, this this customer. Mm. Uh, it, it's the first one of the first that are really implementing a solution like mm -hmm. this. But um, uh, is this a very customized solution for them? Or uh, in fact, there are good standards for this uh, V2X communication, and it's not the classical X509 certificates that they use, but there are new certificate formats and even uh, special cryptography to produce that many uh, key pairs and certificates in the car in an efficient way. So it was in the, it's indeed a challenge to integrate this into uh, our solution, but uh, our standard CA platform is flexible enough uh, to incorporate all these new uh, cryptographic algorithms and new certificate formats. So we built it into our standard solution, which is, uh, uh, is around since uh, many decades. It's very stable and uh, uh, um, performant solution. So mm. we built it into the standard solution. Yeah. Okay, that is so so, mm. so it's actually all the functionality is built into the standard product, and uh, but looking at this specific customer, so mm. so how how is this solution delivered to to cover the global scenario? And, and this customer has chosen uh, not to uh, create an on-premise installation, but they wanted to have uh, this uh, solution as a service. So this is why we built up the system in a private cloud system. Uh, which is uh, globally available. Mm. And, uh, we are also going to certify uh, the solution because there's a, um, a European policy that has to be fulfilled. And there is also, um, um <coughs> for, this, uh, for the uh, automotive industry, there is a um, operational policy that has to be fulfilled. So the system will be audited and, and certified according to these policies. Mm. Interesting. So if you would, uh, as you've been a, a central part of this project and so, so what w if you would summarize you know this this project in, in just a few sentences and what's mm -hmm. uh, what's uh, wha what would you say um, I would say that uh, this is a large-scale uh, system we are very proud that we can uh, we can implement this uh, system for this customer um, it had some special as as aspects and um, te technological aspect and this performance requirement that had to be fulfilled um, and where we are very confident uh, that we can do it and this is a standard solution for the whole industry which is now available mm. interesting fantastic so um, mm. looking forward to to meeting these uh, uh, much more safe uh, uh, cars on the streets yeah i'm glad okay. if i can sit in one of those yeah <laughs> thanks. okay thanks thomas <coughs>